Hello, hello. Right. Hopefully this works out here. See if I'm showing up live for you. Let's see what we got. Trying to do live Zoom. It always takes a minute for it to set up. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Looks like it's working. All right. Let's see who's going to be joining us today. The volume turned off. Yay, it's working. I'm fresh out of the shower. My apologies. Hi, Peggy. Hey, Valerie. Hey, Jody. Hey, Lori. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Camilla. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Leanne. I love it when technology works for me. All right, so I wanted to do this special, um, looks the same to you, but you probably see Zoom in the corner. What it is, when I go live via Zoom, I can screen share as well, or at least, yeah, I think I can. So I'm going to try to screen share today. So hey, Ange. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Chantel. Be sure to say hi when you log in, um, because when I go back and watch these later and make notes of who's showing up and who's participating and I do some free giveaways here or there privately, thanking you for showing up and participating and saying nice things about us. Um, make sure you log in. Hey, Kenny. So I know you're here. So today, got lots of people still coming on. So I'm looking on my phone. So if you wonder what I'm looking down at. Um, Hey, Melissa. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Leona. Hey, Elva. Yay. Okay. We're going to do some beginner stuff so you can um, tag your team, <clears throat> but it's also some good reminders for you because what happens is we forget the basics. We forget basic tips. We forget basic stuff. So, hey, Susan. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Wendy. Yay. Hi, Julie. All right. So I want to talk about some basics that because there's so many new people and old people, older meaning older builders, you might not even know what all of our tools are that we have at our fingertips because Zotero changes stuff and we don't always get the information um, about what they change. So just a couple little tips. One, I want to make sure everybody knows that this is what goes out to your customers now. This has been about six months, I believe, in use. And it's every product. It doesn't have prices, okay? So it's super important that you have your FAQ system in place. If you don't know what that is, we're going to go over it in a minute. Because you can put the link to the catalog with pricing in your FAQ system or in your Facebook groups, right? Or what I've heard some people do is they add on a product guide to every single enrollment's order. It's like a dollar or something. I don't do that. Um, I'm just, I haven't been won over on that process yet about charging my customer for their catalog. Uh, doesn't mean it's wrong. I just need to work on my mindset. But I also want you to know on the back, there's a 30 day cleanse in the very back of the book. It's super important for you to get a process in place so that your team is doing a cleanse at least twice a year as a group, if not three or four times a year. So some good times to do it. September is a really good time to do it, right? September, January, April, so if you're going to do it three times a year, those are good times to do it. 30-day uh, cleanse. So get a process in place and start collecting your videos and your data on 30-day cleanses. And then in the middle of the book are the stickers, okay? So I want to make sure people know some of the basics. You've already got those tools. Let's go through some of my tools, and I'm going to answer some questions too. Hey, Alicia. All right. I got to figure out how to do this here. I'm going to share my screen. So let's see what you see. All right. So the first thing I want to do is go to, lost my train of thought. The questions. You guys are busy. You guys are active. Okay. So this post went up this week live with Lisa. Every Monday, get your questions answered. So let me go through some of those questions. I think I answered them all in, in typing, but still want to make sure I go through them all. <clears throat> 
how do you prepare a host for a make and take party? I've had a couple with brand new users, et cetera. So in preparing your host, doTERRA has great tools for us in place for some of these basic things. It's called the Empowered Success. I'm gonna click on this. We are working on our Builder FAQ. We should have it done here anytime. And this is gonna be in there, right? Your links to all of this. So share doTERRA hosting overview. This is on doTERRA.com. I have difficulty finding things in the website because it's so massive. So I just Google, I Google everything. I Google um, share doTERRA brochure. So sharing comes naturally and it gives you tips on how to get your hostess set up steps to inviting steps for them to have a good quality class tips on how to share anywhere anytime sampling if you are a sampler i don't do sampling how to share your story and how to um, present and a timeline okay so very good information there that doTERRA already has done for you so don't recreate the wheel so for example, we thought about creating a hostess trifle, not necessary, doTERRA's already got it there. Um, if I, if you think we should have a hostess trifold, um, put that in the comments. And if so, what you think would be in it, okay? All right. She said she had some trouble closing people at the class. No problem, so I wanna help make sure people understand last monday is a good video to watch i believe we even loaded it to youtube um the key is it's not about all enrollments it's not about how many people come to the class it's about what you do with the, the people that um come and don't enroll follow up the key is the follow-up not whether they came to the class or not see everyone that commented on your Facebook invite that talked to you and implement the 60 second enrollment with them, regardless of whether they came to class, regardless of whether they enrolled at class. It's about what you do with the information that you do get. Diane Sanders asks, can you do a mock 90 day upgrade um, talk? So here's an example. Yep, hey Susie Q. Want to let you know you qualify for a free doTERRA upgrade to your account and free $20 in products come with that upgrade. Now that's something I offer if I don't know the people well, if it's an awkward conversation, if it's a friend of mine and I need them to upgrade and I'm gonna help them grow and I'm gonna put people under them and we're gonna work together on some stuff or they're gonna refer me people, I'm gonna say, hey, Susie Q friend, I just need you to upgrade, okay? And I'm gonna help you get some money. Like that's how easy that conversation can be if you're close to the person. But if it's a stranger, there's a few things you need to do. You need to do this with your friends too. The purpose of upgrading from doTERRA is not so we can move people in rank. That's not the purpose of upgrading. So let's use it for that purpose and for the real purpose. The real purpose is for you to communicate with that person and start growing and developing that relationship into something more. So when you call these people, don't just ask them for an upgrade. That's selfish and self-serving. Come up with some other things. Reward them with $20 in free products. Use that as a segue into, uh, I know you love free products, so let me tell you how we can get you some more free products. Let's host a class and you get free stuff. Um, you don't have to specify what, you just say, depends on how class goes, let's get a class together and we'll work on getting you some free stuff. And then go to the announcements tab in this group and scroll to hostesses and how we compensate them for the details, okay? You don't have to explain everything to everyone. Just get them to host the class and then worry about the rest later. Um, at your class, you can actually do the upgrade and put their friends and family under them. Like use this upgrade phone call as a real opportunity to use the upgrade for what it was intended. It was intended to help people upgrade so that people can go under them, so they can share doTERRA with their friends and family, they can refer them to you, they can enroll them themselves, they can host the class with their friends and family, et cetera, right? So use it for that. So you get $20 in free products. 
Also, you should always have a class online on the calendar and you should have one in person on the calendar so that every time you communicate with one of your members or prospects, you have something to invite them to, to grow the relationship. The more events they come to, the more likely they are to turn into a share and builder. The more likely they are to stay in your community because they're going to build relationships with other people in the group, not just their enroller. So, hey, Susie Q, wanted to let you know you qualify for a free doTERRA upgrade to your account and free $20 in products come with that upgrade. Those would be free gifts from you. Also wanted to let you know about some upcoming events and then list the events. Can you come to any, Susie? See how that goes. Want to host one of your own and get free stuff? See how that goes and roll with the conversation. The goal is to get them to share and build not just use the free upgrade to get what you want for your structure. Let's grow them. Okay, Susie, so about that upgrade, what free products would you like for your $20? Now it's up to you on what you offer her. You can do straight $20 products from doTERRA. That's a lot of times easiest. You can order the $20 in products in your LRP in a separate order, um, cash in points to do it. And you have to buy one thing with PV, you can throw in a free lip balm and basically just pay for lip balm because your shipping is going to be refunded. The pair is going to mail the products. I personally like to send it out on my own and I like to try to give them five milliliter rollers and samples of products they haven't used yet. So if I'm going to upgrade Suzy Q, I'm going to spend a few minutes doing a quality job. I'm going to go into Suzy Q's back office, see what she's been ordering for the last three months. If there's no shampoo and conditioner or deep blue cream or toothpaste or vitamin pack um, or copaiba, I'm going to make sure that I put together a free $20 um, goodie bag of products for her that she's not using yet. This is your opportunity and the Yay Oils Roller to grow Suzy Q in her LRP and her access to more products to fall in love with them and to want to share and build and get more free, okay? All right, so my conversation with her continues, and nothing changes for you, Susie Q, with this upgrade, unless you decide you want to host a class or share doTERRA with others. Um, the system allows you now to do that. You can refer people to me, and now you can get free stuff. Uh, so feel free to refer people. You can help them yourself or whatever you like. When you log in, it'll ask for your social, but it's secure and private. That's in case someone you refer to us becomes some famous doTERRA person and you start making a million dollars off of them, the IRS will want some of that. But we're not too worried about that. Let's just get you your free $20 for upgrading. How's that sound? Ha ha ha. Right? So I sent that actually by email to someone. I talked to them first and then she said, can you email me the information? Um, because she was older and wanted the details in writing. So I sent that to her and she upgraded herself. I have a hundred percent success rate on upgrading people when I do it over the phone. And when I do it this way, it can't all be about you and someone upgrading for you. The worst thing you can do is call someone and say, Hey, I need you to upgrade. It's going to help me out, help me get a bonus. They don't care. They don't care about what's in it for you. They care about what's in it for them. So make sure there's some things in it for them. All right. Kelly says, do you ever do cold call sales? Yes. And how do you approach and introduce your business over the phone properly and compliance? There's no compliance with cold calling. Compliance comes into play when you're on social media and don't promise things the oils can do that the approved doTERRA um, claims list doesn't promise. So you can't say frankincense cures cancer, right? You can't say that um, Copaiba is for pain. You can go to the doTERRA approves claims list and see what you can say, right? And other compliance things are don't contact people that are already in doTERRA and say, hey, switch to my team. That's not compliance either. So there's multiple forms of compliance, but what you say to people isn't one of them. Um, now, don't say that frankincense cures cancer because that's just um, something you shouldn't say anyway. All right. When you cold call on businesses, doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you're cold calling on people or a business, it helps to have a relationship. Whether you have a relationship with someone in the business 
or a patient, you can say, hey, my friend, so-and-so that comes there referred to me and said I should really talk to so-and-so about doTERRA essential oils and using them um, in your business. Is there someone that I can talk to about that? You're going to get a lot of no's. You keep going anyway, because that's one of the seven to 10 touches. You can drop a packet of information off. You can drop off a trifold, um, your business card. A, if it's a business where they focus on um, healthy inflammatory response and discomforts, drop off some deep blue rub samples and your trifold and contact information and say, I'd really like to set a time to talk to someone, um, et cetera, right? So there's multiple ways to do it, but the most successful way is to have a relationship with someone in that business. All right, how to partner on events and promote classes. Same way, ask them if they want to do a class. When you create a pick of something that's doTERRA related, you have to send it to compliance to approve before you share it. No, learn compliance and you won't have to. One of the best things you can use is the group Oils Biz Do Graphics. It's a free group I created and everybody that loves to make graphics and are good at it, Provide their graphics for free and share with all of us that aren't. You share them unbranded, compliant. We don't approve ones that aren't compliant. So any graphic you go grab from Oils is no Graphics is ready to go for you. Stop recreating the wheel and use the tools that you already have unless you can't find what you're looking for. If you post something non-compliant, the Terra Compliance will reach out to you. All right, lots of questions about the FAQ. So what we're gonna do um, this week, we're gonna get the FAQ system on our website. I'm gonna go through that in a minute, tell you more about that. Robin says, I'm teaching a healthcare facility how to use oils with the elderly. How many drops do you recommend in a 10 ml for older people? Okay, so that's not a liability that I would take on. So I don't answer that. I don't answer oil use questions in this group. It's just business questions. So that would be a question for product support. So when I decided I was going to go to all the local nursing homes in the area and do free hand massages uh, for the residents, um, I contacted product support at doTERRA.com and said, I'm going to go to all the local nursing homes and I want to do free hand massages to help calm and soothe them. What should I do? And they said, use lavender, one or two drops with coconut oil, and massage their hands. They said, that's it. Nothing fancy. Just do that. That's safe. So you want to contact product support at doTERRA.com for those things because there's some liability there. So then you'll have an email from them to document that. They said that that would be okay. Chantel, I have a face group, Facebook group. Instagram has her stumped, me too. I'm still trying to figure out Instagram. Um, I like to be everywhere. People say, oh my gosh, you have so many groups. You have so many, whatever. Yeah, I do. I want people to be able to find me. If they remember my team name, Yay Oils, I want them to be able to type it in, find me. If they remember Lisa Zimmer, I want my personal profile to come up. I want a business page to come up. I want Instagram to come up. I want YouTube to come up. I want all that stuff to come up. So I'm anywhere and everywhere. What are the best oils to use for? Okay, so perfect. Jessica asks in this group an oils use question. I don't answer that in here because this is a business group. This teaches you that I'm not being a meanie. It teaches you how to manage your group. If I got that by text from a member, I'm going to say, oh, excellent question, Susie Q. You should get the book Essential Life and give her the link and download the app EOE Books and then look up motion sickness in the book or look up EOE Books um, app, look up motion sickness. And if it's one of my members, after I do that, I'm going to say for a more immediate response, Go to our members Facebook group and post that question for me. I know she's on Facebook because she sent me the question by Facebook, right? I'm not going to answer that question because my job is to train Susie Q to be empowered and self-sufficient. And I'm not going to do that if I answer her question. If I answer her question, what I'm doing is training her that I'm the answer to the question. 
contacting me as the answer to the question. This is how we can have 1,650 people on my team and I've enrolled 400 of them and I don't get texts, PMs or emails all day on how to use oils because I trained them on how to do it correctly, all right? So you wanna do the same thing. And then if they say, oh, sorry, didn't mean to bother you, it's no bother. Just use your book and app and that's an easy one, right? So don't make them feel bad for contacting you. You're just training them on the right way to do it. Christy says, what methods do you use to find local upcoming vendor events? Google. And then also, did you know you could go into, I'm going to show you how, your search bar in Facebook and type like the name of your city and vendor events and stuff comes up. Did you know that? So like Peoria is our big city adjacent to us. And I typed in Peoria vendor events. It's probably going to pull up Peoria, Illinois, because it knows where I live. And look at, there's all these groups and pages for vendor events in my area. So do that. Type in your local biggest city name and type in vendor events. Cool, huh? All right, let me go back to where I was. I lost my place. How do I get back there? Back to questions. All right, so find local vendor events that way. You guys are big, busy tagging peeps today. I think that was the last of the questions on there anyway. I'm not sure. I think that was most of them. All right, so I'm gonna stop share for a second and see what some of your questions are. Holy cow, all kinds of people in here today. <clears throat> Penny says, I get so discouraged when I hear, no, I'm not interested. Never, never, never get discouraged. Don't worry about that. You have to get a no seven to 10 times before they take action. And their version of a no could be they don't respond to your text. They don't respond to your phone call. They don't respond to your PM. They don't respond to your email. People are going to say no. I said no. I said no to building. I said, if you contact me about doing this as a business, I won't order any more of your products. People have to come to this on their own terms. Okay. So all you're doing is providing them information and stop making it about you and your feelings and make it about the mission. The mission is to continue telling people about doTERRA and they will take advantage of it when they're ready. <clears throat> Never give up on your builders or your customers. Doesn't mean you have to annoy them or anything like that. Today, I have someone coming over who enrolled with us three years ago. He used the products for like two months. Didn't feel well because they take so much medication. Um, there's the medication of making them not feel well, but I couldn't convince them otherwise. So I set that baby free, gave it up to God, set them free. And now they're coming back. All these medications have made them so sick, caused them all kinds of other problems. Now they're, I call it window or door, window or door is open and they're ready to come back for more. I didn't kick her out of our group. I kept her educated in our group. It can't get one over again if you don't keep them educated or in contact. She loves BOGOs. She loves a deal. So she gets a text about BOGOs, and that's usually when she comes back, right? So in July, she saw a BOGO that piqued her interest. So now um, she, her account's not active. I said, don't worry about it. I'll just order you that one for you and come. I needed to get her here so I could sit her down and go through this stuff with her. She's not a future leader or builder. She doesn't feel well and I want to help her. It's that simple. And I can't do that if I can't get her to sit down and talk to me and listen because she's not super great on, you know, technology and whatnot. I need her to sit down in front of me and get her one over again and start back from square one. But she's back. Three years of no's. I didn't bother her. She just got passive marketing with BOGO texts or, um, uh, the Facebook posts or whatever. They'll come back when they're ready. Oh, Kenny, Kenny is the perfect example. I totally forgot. So Kenny just said, that is true. On my very first meeting with Kenny, 
he said, I hate MLM. This isn't one of those MLM things. Now he's coming to convention. And that's been like, what, just like three or four months, honey, maybe four months, right? So never give up on your customers and never give up on your builders. One of my very first friends came to one of my very first classes. And she is maybe the fourth or fifth person that enrolled with me. She's on my front line because she said she wanted to build. And then she didn't. She was too scared. She was too scared to tell people about the oils. Uh, she was, we came from real estate, both of us. And in real estate, it's to the point where every single moment of every single day, you're afraid you're going to be sued. And these are big ticket projects, right? So you're not just talking sued over a $20 bottle of oil. You're talking sued over hundreds of thousands of dollars. So every single moment of real estate, you're in fear of being sued. So she brought that into the oil business with her. What if they use this and die? So nobody's going to die, Chris. Nobody's going to die. What if they use this and then and they get it in their eye and they go blind? I'm like, no one's going to go blind, Chris. It's okay. This is why we don't sell rollers. We don't sell bath salts. We don't sell et cetera, right? They do make and takes in front of us. They see the oils come out of the doTERRA bottle and go right into their roller. So there's like a chain of custody in the products, right? And we make people order on their own account. So if there is any kind of problem, usually it has nothing to do with doTERRA, but say they have a health problem otherwise, and their doctor says, oh, I bet it was your doTERRA. They always find out it's not. But at the beginning, it's sure nice to say, no problem, let's contact doTERRA about that. But if you ordered the vitamin pack for them, and they feel unwell, and they start blaming you, it's on you. You ordered it for them. Get them to order on their own account, right? So Chris went year, year and a half without building. And she's on my front line and was a main builder. Well, I wanted to get to Diamond. And um, so we helped her get to Silver. And then she came alive and decided that um, real estate was not for her anymore. And it was time. And so let's do the math in my head. So three years from the time she, she said she wanted to build and didn't, um, she became a solid silver. Took her a year to build herself to solid silver um, on her own after that, right? Don't give up on your builders. Don't give up on your customers. I always see, oh, it's impossible to raise the dead in doTERRA. No, it's not. It's not impossible to raise the dead. Um, if you're expecting them to, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. But don't give up on your customers and don't give up on your builders. You don't know what's going to happen in their life or when to trigger this. Uh, recently, we have someone who said, hey, I really would like to try to make a go of this. My first job is to help them fall in love with the product, the lifestyle, the community, and feel awesome about finding like-minded individuals so that they have a safe space and they don't leave. Number one, then we worry about turning them into a builder. This builder says, I need to do more. Turns out I don't have any retirement. It's time to focus. I don't put my expectations of what I need from them on them. I would love for this builder, you know, to get to gold in the next year or two. That would be amazing. That would really, you know, save a lot of my stresses. But my needs are not what I need to project on him. I need him to grow into this process, fall in love with it, want to do more, and get over all the mindset issues like the fear of no or the fear of being a man in this world that appears to be female dominated. I just need to help him find his place so he can thrive on his time schedule, okay? So never give up on your builders and never give up on your customers. If you cut that cord, the relationship's over. Never cut that cord. Never cut these people off, All right? <clears throat> Everyone needs their own account. Every need, everyone needs to order their products direct from doTERRA. 
You can give them free our goodie bags. Everything we teach you is approved through compliance. So if you're talking to someone and they're like, oh, make and takes aren't compliant. Not true. If you do it our way, everything we do here at BizTips is submitted to compliance. I have all the letters, all the emails, and I even post them in announcements tab. All right. Five months, any five months. All right, so one thing I wanted to do with this screen share opportunity is go to the announcements tab in this page. People are like, what's the announcements tab? All right, in Lisa Zimmer, Essential Oils Biz Tips, that's the group you're in right now. Facebook made a change. We used to have what we call pinned posts. That's the very first post and you could pin it to the top so it was always there. Some of the groups still have them, some of them don't. I don't pretend to understand Facebook and the changes that they've made. They changed my pinned post. So some old videos are gonna say, go to the pinned post. They changed it to an announcement. So if you see here on the left-hand side of my screen where it says my group name, about, discussion, announcements, click that. If you're on your phone, it's in the toolbar at the top. Whoa, where is it? There it is. Announcements. I only have one announcement. My mouse isn't working right. All right, so here's my one announcement. That's it. That's all that there is, right? It says, I just joined Lisa Zimmer Oils Biz Tips Group. Now what? Read. Compliance. I've submitted every process we teach to compliance, and they are all approved in writing. First and foremost, this is a safe space. Do not ask to switch to my team. I do not accept new members that are already joined in doTERRA from this group. Grow where you're planted. We can help you grow here too. There isn't anything. This is my team training group as well as yours. There isn't anything in my personal team group that you're not getting here other than my free handouts, right? And you get access to all those on lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. So I didn't have anyone training me in doTERRA. I didn't have any tools like this. When we built the diamond in 21 months. You can do it too. I did it full time. So your timeline may be different. I don't have five kids at home. I had one kid in school. And when he is here, he's pretty self-sufficient. And I have a super supportive husband, okay? You have to take your timeline and factor in all of those other benefits features and benefits. You have that. If not, it might take you longer. All right. My why and your how-to steps. Here's my why. You can click on that. You want to find your why. What does that mean? Why are you here? Why do you stay here? What's your why? So my why started with, <clears throat> I was sick from an antibiotic reaction in 2011, and it completely ruined my life. It completely destroyed my life. I went from making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year in real estate to zero overnight. I was a breadwinner in my family. Uh, my house was paid off. My cars were paid off. I had a $70,000 Tahoe. I had a BMW. I had diamond rings. I had Rolexes. All gone except my diamond ring. Um, I had to sell my house. I had to take out a mortgage on my new house. I had to take out uh, loans on my cars. I had to sell our Rolexes. I sold every piece of furniture that didn't have a home. I sold every decoration, every article of clothing that wasn't needed to survive and racked up debt. I got better with doTERRA. I thought my life was over. I was so sick. Every day I wanted to die from the pain. So sick three years of torture. doTERRA brought me back. Within three months, I shared with my friends and family by making them little presents for three months because no one told me there was a business here or how to do it. Within six months of getting my oils, I Googled it. I scoured the internet. I scoured Facebook pages and I figured it out and I started enrolling people by myself. My why is I don't want anyone else to suffer like we did unnecessarily from the side effects of prescription drugs. That's my why. There are too many people using drugs who are sicker and don't know that there's another way, just like we were. That's my original why. So why do I keep doing it? 
because I stinking love this business. We have solutions to so many problems for people, not just pain and an unhappy life, but hair, skin, just feeling happy about life. And now my biggest why is all my builders are my friends and family and they're new friends. I want them to be as successful as we are and enjoy all these blessings. That's my new why. I want them to fight through the hard stuff and push through the hard stuff and have this financial freedom to go on vacation like three weeks in the summer or literally we were gone like every other weekend in the summer doing whatever we wanted. I can do this business from anywhere and support my family. I can move to another state. I can move to another country. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want because of doTERRA. I want that now for my friends and family. So that's my new why. They're both still my whys. All right, post your questions on the ask your questions post. So I set this up. This post here tells you what all the steps are. Step one, try full brochure. Step two, make and take. Step two and a half, labels. Obviously, I forgot the labels. I try to put them in sequential order. How to enroll in 60 seconds. FAQ, we're going to talk about that. Goodie bags. Hostess after class conversation, how to compensate her. Membership overview. Everything is in here. You just have to know to look here. Announcements tab. One post. So how does it work? You click on the photo. So I just clicked on got a question, ask questions here. Look at all the information's here. Tells you all about our group, right? Ask your questions down there. They'll get answered. All right, next, click the arrow and go to step one. Same thing. Now that you pulled up that photo, step one, try full brochures, lisazimmer.net forward slash shop. Everything you know need to know about our trifolds. Videos telling you how to use them. Video on what it looks like. Why give your trifolds to your downline to turn them into builders. Once you turn someone into a sharer or builder, they need to purchase their own trifold PDF to get rights to duplicate it. If you have trouble printing what to do. If you don't get your trifold, what do you do? How to edit it. Everything you need to know about that trifold is right here. How to load it to Vistaprint, edit and print it. Testimonials on how people have used it. Click arrow. Step two, make and takes. Everything you need to know about the make and takes, where to get it, how to use it, why ours are amazeballs, right? So many awesome tips in here. Just spend some time going step by step. I'm going to show you more about Becky's labels. I have switched to using all Becky's labels. Amazing. I can literally go to Becky's website now and get the five milliliter rollers with the labels already on it. And she ships the whole shebang, US only. Amazing, 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 amazing. It's all about problem solving. So what we do here at Biz Tips is try to solve your problems, whatever they may be. Step three, enroll in 60 seconds. How do we do that? Watch me do it, watch how I say it. Plus we have the script written out for you. Right, so everything's in one place. All right, let's talk about FAQ, Adam, and tag them. I want you to get your life back. I can come in on a mentoring session, have someone open their back office and their graphical tree, and I can tell you who does not have an FAQ system. Easy peasy. Their peeps are not on LRP. It's that simple. FAQ system, frequently asked questions, what it is. It's 20 of the most commonly asked questions in doTERRA that I comp compiled over a three year period because I got so sick of answering the same questions over and over and I got so sick of being on the phone all the time. It was to the point where my husband, we were playing family game time and it was a holiday. And at 9.30 at night, someone texted me and said, I wanna enroll my sister, what do I do? And my husband said, don't you dare. And I took the call. I texted her back and spent the next hour helping her and answering all her questions. And turns out she never enrolled her sister. So I ruined family time. I ruined a holiday. 
now when that happens, someone texts me on Easter. It always happens on a holiday because they're with their friends and family on the holidays. Someone texted me on Easter during Easter dinner, said, I want to enroll my sister. What do I do? I said, excellent question, Susie Q. Go to the FAQ group. And I told her what it was called. And that's post 13. I don't know what post number it is, but on mine is 13. Uh, that's post 13. Check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. She said, great, thanks. Logged in the next day. She would enrolled her sister. Then I went to post 17 and tagged her and said, hey, Dina. I see you enrolled your sister. Awesome way to go. Thanks for sharing doTERRA. Here's what to do next. And I tagged her in the post. I enrolled someone. Now what do I do? And it tells her to add her new member to the FAQ group and tag her new member in post one, two, and three. Post one, two, and three are a mini member overview by video. Um, I have my oils now what uh, graphic and recipes, where to order things, and how to use her oils, how to make a roller, get them started. Because I don't know that she's going to do an in-person or over-the-phone membership overview. So we put it in place so that even if she doesn't, her member is supported. FAQ stands for Get Your Life Back in doTERRA. All right. This FAQ for customers to support your members is $39. We're going to get it set up so you can start ordering that on our website as an item. And what you're actually be getting is a download um, piece of paper with the um, access to the Google Drive with everything. Right now, you pay pal Lisa Zimmer to at gmail.com, $39. And then you go and request to join the Facebook group, FAQ Lisa Zimmer. Don't request to join if you haven't paid. It just bogs us down because we have to delete everything. So only request to join after you've paid. Make sure in PayPal, you put your Facebook name. Make sure when you answer the questions to access FAQ Lisa Zimmer, you put your PayPal name so we can cross-reference. Lana Briggs Perry will take all that information and build your FAQ for you in a group or in units within your closed private members group. Okay, these are closed groups that you build is for your members only. She'll do that for $10 until the 18th of this month. After the 18th, it goes to $20. It's ridiculously cheap. I've tried to talk Lana into charging more for her time, and um, she won't. I did talk her into increasing it to $20 um, because it's a ton of work. And she does it all for you, but just poof, done. All right. What an FAQ is, it's a closed group or you put it in units. You can also build it in a click funnel, a Thinkific, a website, whatever, but it needs to be private for your members only, okay? We call it the add them and tag them system. When I get a new member, I add and tag them in posts one, two, and three. And then there's 17 other posts to help me with the other most commonly asked questions in doTERRA that were driving me crazy. Hey, I wanna enroll someone, what do I do? Oh, post 13. Let me know if you need more help. I just enrolled someone. Now what do I do? Oh, post 17. Let me know if you need more help. That's it. That's all I do. I don't hardly do anything. Uh, someone posts, oh, I hear lavender can grow breasts for boys. Instead of me arguing about that with my member, all I do is say that's the myths post in the FAQ group. Go check it out. And it's got all the actual scientific documentation from doTERRA, from wherever, is proving it so I don't have to discuss it. I'm done. Peace out. Adam tag him. I'm out. Okay. I got my life back. All right. Step five, new member goodie bags tells you what I use, where I buy it, all that good stuff and why we do it. Hostess. How do I compensate my hostesses? Here's a video where I went live about it. Member overview, AKA I have my oils. Now what? There's a video. There's a script. Documents are in the files tab. Structuring, here's my video on YouTube. There's another video I did with Jesse Reimers. Ranking tips, click them, learn them. A structuring video is approved by doTERRA account management team. Vendor events and banner, right here. Everything you need to know. Step 10, LRP love, how we boost our LRP rates. My average LRP rate um, for last month, Ogle month was over 100 PV 
for every single person on LRP. Now, some people spent 20 PV and other people spent 800. But when you average it all out, every single person on LRP on my team, the average came out to more than 100 PV per person. Do it. Take your total sales from July, your OV, and then go figure out how many people on your team are on LRP. You just look it up in team tab, detailed genealogy. So I know 70% of my team are on LRP because I look at it regularly. So I took 1650, that's my overall number of members, times 70%, and it came out to, I don't remember, say 1100. And then I took my overall volume, 130,000, divided by 1100. And that tells me my average PV for every person on LRP is over 100. Figure out what yours is. On a BOGO month, it should be over 100. On the rest of the months, it should be 75 to 100. You should have at least 70 to 75% of your people on LRP. Our new builders that use our trifold 60 second enrollment, Adam and Tagum FAQ system, and participate in LRP Love by tagging their people in the posts and getting them started, have 80 to 100% on LRP. Step 11 Facebook groups. What are my different Facebook groups and why? Step 12, not closing at class. Here's some different tips. You may have to do it different for your market. If you're not a good closer, you may only have to offer one or two rollers at the class until you can become a better closer. I can offer as many rollers as they want to make and still close them on a kit. So you need to work on your closing skills. We have Kayla Radloff joining us on the 27th. She went from not enrolling anyone at classes and everyone saying they'll just use the rollers or order with the hostess. At her last class, she enrolled them all. So she's going to be our guest speaker on the 27th. Inviting people in Facebook event info, how to do a Facebook event. Step 14, my letters from compliance proving that our make and take system and our um, goodie bags are approved by compliance. And this is a great tips and tools checklist that someone created for us of different things that they like to use in class and what they use to get started. A little checklist. Not necessary to do all the things. What is necessary is to get started and stop overthinking it and stop buying so much stuff that you're not even performing or taking action. Take action first. Get your trifold. Get a make and take. Top 10 essentials. Um, get your supplies for that. Can't afford a lot of supplies. Don't buy a lot of supplies. Buy enough rollers for everybody to make two. Your labels could be scotch tape and a Sharpie. Stop making it complicated and take action. If you saw, I wish we had pictures and videos of everything we used to do. Horrific. I used washi tape and a Sharpie for my labels. I uh, had no system. But we did it anyway. We just kept changing things until we got to a system that worked perfectly. All right, let's see here. Don't see a lot of questions. Post your questions in the comments. Hopefully, I'm still going live. Am I still live? Thanks. All right. Penny says, How limited are we to sign people up in other countries? You just have to contact the business advancements team, Kenny, um, and ask them. Um, if you've got someone interested, then ask them how it works for that country. I'll get you the contact info for the business advancements team. All right, so Kenny's a builder on my team, right? So I'm going to go over to my builder FAQ. I'm going to add Kenny, and I'm going to tag him in the information on the, how to contact the business advancements team. That's too bad it's U.S. only. I don't know what that is referring to, Jody. Will you clarify for me that's too bad it's U.S. only? Maybe it's the roller balls and labels you're talking about. Yep, shipping's a pain. Shipping to other countries is a problem. Maria says your FAQ system is amazing. Thank you. Christy's got to watch the replay later. Lorinda says the FAQ group has been helpful to me. Newbies can access the pertinent info at their convenience and they feel empowered from the beginning. Yes, yes, yes. So that's why our builder FAQ is going to get done this week. 
because here's what I used to do. Are you ready? Cami says, how do we learn more about getting the unit set up and the $10 charge? Um, there isn't anything else to learn, Cami. You buy the FAQ for $39 by uh, PayPaling Lisa Zimmer2 at gmail.com, $39. Then you go to FAQ Lisa Zimmer and request to join. And then everything you need to know is in that group. The very first post is everything you need to do next. Camilla says, if I buy access to your FAQ Facebook group, am I allowed to copy, paste, translate it into Danish? Yes. So the FAQ group is not perfect. It's a template. It has all the posts and videos you need. If you don't like my video or it doesn't pertain to your market, remake it. They're really simple. If the language isn't your language, save it. And what I recommend, because you want to grow into multiple markets, is say you're a um, dual language market, have the top be your primary language and have the bottom of the same post be English. So have them both in the same post. So you're not leaving out your English speaking people. Right. So, yes, what you're buying is access to the FAQ group. And then you're going to copy all the information over into your own group. We have got to get you your life back so that you can be more duplicatable and so it's easier to do. Candace says, quick question. When I purchase the trifold, if the information changes after convention, do I have to pay $20 again? Yes. I love the trifold, would love to get started. Go ahead and get started. Um, what you're buying is access to the current trifold template. We do not provide free updates. So Tara is going to change this trifold forever. At least once a year, it's going to, it could change. I don't want to say it's going to, because they pretty much stick to the same things. But your market, something may change. I'm not financially responsible for that. I priced it at $20 to be affordable for you. If I were to price it for it to be good for ever and ever and ever and every update until the day I die, it'd probably be $1,000. So yes, if Otera changes something, you're responsible for editing it yourself. You can use free PDF editor, sedgeta.com, or you just buy the new update for 20 bucks. So easy peasy. All right, so why is this builder FAQ so important to me? Okay, so I have, I'm very good at turning people into sharers and wanting to share doTERRA because we make it simple. We have a lot of fun. I want my builders to get to this point, but they're not telling enough people every single time about the opportunity. So number one, I want you to make it a practice. No matter what video you do, no matter who you're talking to and enrolling, you better be talking to them about sharing doTERRA, how easy it is and to get free stuff. If I can do it and turn 60 people into sharers, and enroll over 400 people, anyone on my team should be able to come out with five, six, 10 shares. That should not be difficult. I want, I'm challenging you to do that. Find a comfortable way to incorporate that into every conversation. It doesn't have to be serious. Just, hey, want to make sure you know you can help people get their own account. It's so easy. Use the trifold and you get free stuff. They will want to. If you make it complicated like we used to, it won't. You'll scare them away. All right. Brittany says, my upline has the FAQ. You can use your own upline's FAQ. You can't copy it and create your own. You can log into her FAQ with her permission and use it for your team. If you're going to create your own, you need to pay for mine. Right. That's how we stay in business. We give you the opportunity to share, but once you break off and do your own thing, you need to purchase rights to all the originals or biz tips shuts down and we can't do all this free stuff that we do for you. All right, so building FAQ, here's what used to happen. Susie Q would say, oh, I wanna share and build and make some money. Awesome, I would invest 6,000 million years mentoring, phone calls, in-person visit, going through tools, and they'd never do anything. They'd never even enroll one person or they'd enroll one person or they'd have one class and never do anything. That was not an effective use of my time for my team, um, nor an effective use of my time for me. So now you either take action, 
but there's no reason for us to talk because someone can say, hey, I want to share and build. Awesome. I'll tag in how to get started in the Builder FAQ. Read it. Let's schedule your class. And once action is taken, meaning your classes are scheduled, we'll talk. I don't need to talk if you're not taking any action. Um, I don't need to talk to you about enrolling people. If you can't read post 13 and figure out how to enroll someone, I don't need to invest hours and hours and hours of my time talking to you about all the grandeur of doTERRA if you can't do step one and take action. What if they don't have Facebook? What do you suggest? I get this question like 10 times a day. The FAQ is in place. It's basically a library for you. I don't care if they're not on Facebook. We'll copy the post that pertains to them and email it to them. You can also build your FAQ in Thinkific, which is a website online tool form, and it will set it up in the same form. You can hire someone to build it in Thinkific for you. People need to stop worrying about what's on Facebook or not on Facebook. Take the tools and send it to them. Send them the links. Will the Builder FAQ be a completely separate group? I'm going to be setting it up that way. It'll actually be a Google Doc with all the data, the copy, the files, the photos. And mine is set up in a Facebook group. So if you want it in a group, you can copy it just like mine. You put it wherever you want in a private closed group for your builders. I don't care what you put it in, you're purchasing the data from me. So you can do a separate group, I like groups, or you can put it in units within your builder group. I'm gonna try that too. Mine's gonna to be in both places for a while. I've been using my builder FAQ for a while, but I'm gonna try units now too. So you can put it in anything. All right, so just to be clear, Jackie, can you add your builders to this group? No, you won't be adding your builders to my FAQ group. My FAQ group, you're grabbing the data, that's what you're paying for. You're paying $39 for the data and you're creating your own group with it and you'll add your builders to your group. Cool? So FAQ. All right, so Empress Linda says, is the UK trifold ready? The UK trifold has been ready for months, but we haven't launched it yet because the UK is making some changes to the market. We're gonna go ahead and launch it tomorrow. And just know that if you purchase the UK trifold tomorrow, and they finally release their changes, you're gonna to have to edit changes yourself. Valerie says, what are units? Um, Google that, Valerie, Google Facebook units. Awesome sauce, gotta go, I got a one o'clock, so I hope that was helpful today. And feel free to keep posting questions in the comments. I come back later when I'm free and I answer more questions. And I'll be sure to go live um, when the FAQ Builder Group is launched. And yes, it is a one-time $39 fee for FAQ group. All right, so keep on asking your questions and I'll keep answering them. Hope everybody has a good day. Happy oiling.